as reported by the journal Nature in its latest issue, researchers from EMPA, the Max Planck Institute in Mainz and the Technical University of Dresden have for the first time succeeded in producing graphene nanoribbons with perfect zigzag edges from molecules. Electrons on these zigzag edges exhibit different, and coupled, rotational directions, spin. This could make graphene nanoribbons the material of choice for electronics of the future, so-called spintronics. As electronic components are becoming ever smaller, the industry is gradually approaching the limits of what is achievable using the traditional approach with silicon as a semiconductor material. Graphene, the material with a number of miraculous properties, is considered a possible replacement. The one atom thin carbon film is ultralight extremely flexible and highly conductive. However, in order to be able to use graphene for electronic components such as field effect transistors, the material has to be transformed into a semiconductor. This was achieved by EMPA scientists some time ago using a newly developed method. In 2010, he presented, for the first time, graphene nanoribbons GNR, only a few nanometers wide with precisely shaped edges. For this, the ribbons were grown on a metal surface from specifically designed precursor molecules. The narrower the ribbons, the larger their electronic band gap, that is the energy range in which no electrons can be located, which is responsible for ensuring that an electronic switch, for example, a transistor, can be turned on and off. The Ember researchers were then also able to dope the nano ribbons, that is to furnish the ribbons with impurity atoms such as nitrogen at certain points, in order to influence the electronic properties of the graphene ribbons even more. In the paper now published in Nature, the Ember team led by Roman Fazl reports, together with colleagues from the Max Planck Institute for Polymer Research in Mainz, headed by Klaus Mullen, and from the Technical University of Dresden led by Xin Liang Feng, how it managed to synthesize GNR with perfectly zigzagged edges using suitable carbon precursor molecules and a perfected manufacturing process. The zigzags followed a very specific geometry along the longitudinal axis of the ribbons. This is an important step, because researchers can thus give graphene ribbons different properties via the geometry of the ribbons and especially via the structure of their edges.